Hello and welcome to part two of my let's play of Backbone. We're gonna be continuing right where we left off at the end of episode number one. So if you haven't seen that one, you should probably watch it first. I'm gonna put a link to the playlist containing all my Backbone videos down below in the description. So feel free to click that. But if you wanna jump in right here, that's cool too, of course. Whatever works for you. But uh, yeah, for now, Enjoy the video. <sighs> well then, now you're out here again, Hank. Are you like following me or are there two Hanks? Beat it, Striper. <sighs> oh well. Bankers. If Jeremy Green is anything like these guys or those guys, I don't envy his poor wife one bit. True. Roof bank. Is this where Green works? Uh, nothing new here. Huh. Greaser. Wonder what he's vibing to? Wish I was. Wish I was by my record player chilling at home now. Okay, nothing more over here. Let's check the alley. Clarissa Bloodworth, what's her deal? I need to find another way in. Yeah, not gonna give up just yet. I mean, oh, there was this intercom out here. I haven't tried that yet. Larry, how did it go? Did you find him? I got kicked out. Oh, Howard, how'd you manage that? I think I poked the bear. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So they use the back door for deliveries, right? I think I poked the bear. The bouncer, I met Clarissa Bloodworth. Oh man. What did you do? If she's upset, better, you better get used to watching your back. Well, that's what I figured. How do I get back in there? Now, now hold up. You said you didn't get it, uh, get into cases like this anymore. And you told me you had no first-hand experience with MonkeyBot. People don't change, Larry. That's a bit, a bit rude. Uh, it's actually very rude. <laughs> Larry, something is wrong and I need to find out. Doesn't matter. I need to get in. I need to go. Uh, I need to. Nah. Something is wrong. I need to find out. Jeez. I'd recommend against it, but you do you. Say any other ways in. A truck over there just arrived and some fellows entered through the back door. I also heard voices coming from the roof, so they must have a door up there. Tell me about the back door. Tell me about the door on the rooftop. Thanks for your help, friend. Goodbye. Tell me about the back door. They have a little intercom box. You ring, they pick up, and if you're someone they're expecting, they boss you in. Any clue on how I could become someone they're expecting? No idea. Maybe they use some sort of a code. You're the detective, not me. Okay, door on the rooftop. Well, most of these old buildings have one. Problem is, how are you gonna get up on the, on the roof? Bribe the security? Is there a fire escape? Maybe you could give me a lift. <laughs> Maybe I could climb it from here? Security? What the roof police? The bite is too high to start with. Are there any smaller structures you could climb first? The press stand! Whoa there, that could work. Start with the press stand, go to the Mackenzie and proceed along the roofs. But you should know that Bo is kind of a dick nugget. <laughs> That's the most accurate description of Bo I've heard in my life. Is he though? He seems kind of neutral to me. Well, who isn't a bit of a dick nugget nowadays? <laughs> Eh, yeah, most accurate description of Bow I've heard in my life. You're welcome. Anyway, I suggest talking to him and see if he'd be up for it. Uh, thanks for your help, friend. Goodbye. I think when I played the prologue, I didn't get in through the back door. So it would be cool if I could manage to do it this time. Ah, oh, Florence. I might not even have talked to you when I played the prologue, so that's interesting. Oh, and we can talk to the truck as well. Or maybe listen to talk. I don't know. Huh. I mean, let's still check in with Bo just to 
explore a bit of all the options. Oh damn, I almost didn't crouch here. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I, I think nothing bad happened when I didn't crouch and went by in the prologue, but still, I'd like to make it different this time. Feeling peckish? I've got sweet and savory. You can mix and match. Make your own trail mix. How about it? Sorry. Uh, do you hang around Granville often? Oh, do you have unshelled pumpkin seeds? Do you? Of course! Got salted and unsalted. Each baggie's worth a half loon. Uh, but I'll give you three for a loon. It's a steal. I'll have one. Say, you hang around Granville often? Okay, kitty is getting playful. <laughs> Just one. Is your name really Sid? I'll have one. Say, you hang around Granville often? Um, I'm here from time to time. Can I help you with something, sir? I need to find a way into the bite. Fancy jazz bar. I assume you tried the front door? And got kicked out through the front door. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe that's the back door. I really don't know the place very well. Sorry. You're itching to ask something. Go ahead. I mean, if I think so, go ahead. You ask some questions too. Um, why did you get, get kicked out, sir? They didn't like that I was snooping around. I got into an argument and that turned into a fight. Uh, let's be honest. I didn't like that I was snooping around. Why were you snooping around? In private eye, working a case. I owe some money to the bartender, didn't know it'd be her shift. Met someone special and they are inside that bar. I'm a private eye, working a case, I'll be honest with you. Eee, very cool, what's the case? I'll let you in on it if you help me get into the bite. That's too many questions, kid. I'm supposed to keep a low profile. That is kinda true. And also I don't want to promise something I can't keep, so... I'm supposed to keep a low profile. Sorry, sir, didn't mean to meddle, I was just curious. Well, this is this is just saying might now, so I guess that's better at least. Though I might let you in on it if you help me get into the bite. Sorry, sir. I really wish I could help. I would if I could, I swear. But I was being truthful before. I don't know any way to get in. Huh. Ever been on the rooftops? Uh, no, sir. Wish I could be of more help, but I've never been up there myself. I don't know. No problem, kid. Thanks. Of course, sir. Can I offer you some seats? No thanks. See you. Ah. Okay. Nothing new. So, let's check in with Bo again. Back so soon? What now? Don't mind me. Just need to climb the stand. <laughs> Since I don't want to do it anyway, let's go with this. <laughs> don't mind me, I just need to climb the stand. Absolutely not. Do you know how much time and effort it takes to keep the stand in good condition? Come on, Bo, I need this for work. What if I could offer something in return? Promise to pay for any damages. You're broke as a goose. Couldn't cover damages even if you wanted to. What if I could offer something else as a collateral? My PI skills, for example. Now that you mention it, maybe you could help out with the little issue I've been having. Spill it. I need that seed selling Pika Hawker off Granville. Can you do that? I don't know, Bo. That's not what I do. Sorry, who? Consider it done. Eh, that's not what I do. Scratch, back, mine, yours. If that's what it's gonna take, you're lucky I'm desperate. Wish me luck. Eh, honestly, I'm not gonna do any of those things, I think. Wish me luck. Oh, damn, you're a horrible person, Bo. You are a dick nugget. Not yet. <laughs> okay, Bo, jeez. I'm still gonna talk to the seed peddler, but I'll just be nice. Hey there, back for more. Uh, hey, Sid, not quite. I have a strange favor to ask. What's up? Would you leave Granville, at least for tonight? 
Uh, never mind, it's stupid. I'm confused. What's going on? I was supposed to chase you off Granville, but once you off his turf. <laughs> I make it simple. Get off Granville now. I was supposed to chase you off Granville. What do you mean, supposed to? I need something from Bo, and he wants you gone. Bo hates your guts. Could you leave for a bit? Uh, yeah, number one. Of course he does. Think I'm his rival. So silly. What do you need from that old stash? Remember I asked you about the rooftops? Remember I asked you about the bite? I need to climb his breast stand. Uh, bite? What's that got to do with anything? What the e? I found a way, but Bo won't let me through until you leave. I'm a detecti detective. The path to my lead lies through his stand. <sighs> um. Yeah, through his stand. Right, oh, I have a business proposition for you. What if we get rid of Bo instead? <laughs> uh, I'm listening. Bo thinks he owns Granville because he has a paid up permit spot. I'm just playing the hand I've been dealt. My mom and I built this card with our bare hands. I'm just trying to help my family. Where is this going? Bo's a bigot. He hates my guts because I'm a young rodent boy, doing better than him. I'm a good boy. What's the kicker? Did you know Bo sells adult magazines? Very naughty, illegal ones. You think he'll buy it? He'll blink. Anything to protect his precious permit. Let's team up. That's a swell idea, partner. Let's get this bully off Granville. No, you move instead. Now. Let's get this bully off Granville. That's what I like to hear, mister. Go talk to him. I will bow to the shepherd for you. Okay, bye. Um, not yet. Gonna talk to him now. Really hope that the other option will not close after we have followed this path. Uh, oh well, we'll see. Well, you get rid of that parasite. Even that word, screw you, Bo. I think you should leave, Bo. Haha, <laughs> what? Heard a rumor. There's a police raid coming up. So it's about to snitch on you. Are you selling adult magazines? W what? Me? No. A adult what? No! We both know it's not allowed. It's a crime, Bo. We both know it's not allowed. That boy, I will whoop his ass until it's blue. That damn rodent, stealing my business from me. An honest salesman. But I will tell the cops if needed. Nah, I don't want to bring the cops into this like that. I mean, actually not at all. <laughs> Just leave, please. During my peak performance hours? So you could climb my kiosk, you sneaky bastard. Is that it? I'm fetching the officer. It's not about me, it's about justice. <laughs> yes, you guessed it. I knew it. Bastard! I won't let you ruin my life. If I won't sni- Oh, damn. Uh, I don't wanna- I didn't wanna bring Sid into this in the first place, but I mean, it was Sid's idea. But I really don't want to bring any more focus on Sid. So, f like, considering these two options, I'm still gonna go with number one. I'm just threatening anyway, not really doing it, so... Wait! I'll leave. Asshole. Damn you and your whole kind. Yeah, that sounds like someone I wanna have out of here. Do you know what? I'm not even gonna climb your stupid stand. Bye, Bo. So you got rid of an old stash. <laughs> he was pissed, but he's gone. Just wanted to say thanks. No problem, partner. Thanks for helping little old me. I'll tell mom and the shepherd about your kindness. What are you gonna do now? I already had my quota for the day, so home. What? You were about to leave this whole time? You little bastard, you tricked me. <laughs> yep, but this was more fun. Even in You wait! Damn it, he's fast. <laughs> I think that's okay. <laughs> no! Oh, I uh, always have to remember to crawl here or crouch. Like all the little details in that window, like this poster on the wall, the plant. 
Ah, sorry. <laughs> Doing it again. Here we are, back in the alley. Yo, Larry. Found a way in, sneaky boy. Uh, thanks for your help, friend. Goodbye. Okay. Let's see. It's a delivery truck. The door is open. Break in, leave. Uh, leave for now. There's Florence here. What you looking at? Why are you here? Are you alright? Just need to get into that building here. Are you alright? Fine. Was it to you anyway? Florence, right? Reddit on attack. You don't look fine. I'm just trying to help. Um, this is, I don't know, maybe going with the name might form some sort of connection. Florence, right? Reddit on attack. Piss off. I told you, I'm not leaving till I get her back. Get who back? Are you looking for someone? What? Are you hurt? Do you need help? Uh, let's go with this. I mean, this is the interesting part, but... Uh, you're not one of them thugs? I mean, you no harm. You just looked like you could use some help. What thugs? I'm really here on my own business. No, ma'am. Private detective Howard Loader. Nice to meet you. I'm just saying, I mean, you no harm. Uh... It's nice and all, but just saying who you really are might be more uh, reassuring. Detective, I don't understand. Uh, maybe we can help each other out. Is that a canister you got there? Uh, just a quick question. Did you see someone go through that door? Maybe we can help each other out. How? I need to find a way into that building. Can you help me? Maybe. I mean, not really. I tried the code at the door, but damn filthy slugs won't let me in. Just want to talk to her. Wait, what code? Who are you trying to talk to? It's my daughter. She's in that filthy... And I've been coming for days. They say they won't let me talk to her. I'm her mother, damn it. What's she doing in there? Why won't they let you talk to her? Damn if... Damn if Florence knows, I don't know. Uh, why won't they let you talk to her? Say she doesn't want to talk to me, but they're lying. I know it. They just want to keep it all hushed up like. What's she doing in there? Um, I guess that's important if we are looking for her. Kit decides she's gonna make it all on her own, lands herself in a whorehouse. Stupid. They're drugging her. I know it. They won't let her see her own mother. My poor baby. I'll keep an eye out for her if I get in. What does she look like? Grey fur. Name's Rosie. Rose. Drives her nuts when I call her Rosie. Just turned 20. If they heard a single whisker on my baby's face, I swear I'm gonna burn this hive to the ground. How are you so sure she's still in there? I'll do my best to find her. Um... That sounds doubtful, but it's kind of also important. She's my baby. I know where she is. I can sense it. So she's been visiting the bite before. When did you last see her? Two, three weeks ago, we had a fight. So she's been visiting the bite before. Told me she was waitressing, but I asked around. This whole serves drugs and sleaze. So you fought about her job about uh, so you fought about about her job at the bite and that was the last time you saw her. What about it? Uh, nothing. I'll do my best to find her. Yeah, I don't know. It was <laughs> not really anything about it. True. I'll do my best to find her. Thank you. Tell her I'm waiting out here. They haven't told her. I'm sure. Do you know of any other way in? You said you tried the code to the intercom. Um, so yeah, code at the intercom. I memorized it word for word. Great fire, damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. <laughs> okay. Um, great fire, damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. That's an interesting code. 
Uh, do you know of any other way in? No, I've heard voices up on the roof, but how'd you get there? Please, if you see my daughter, just tell her I need to see her. Please, take care. I'll try. Don't really need to break into this truck now, do I? I hope I don't. Let's see. But they said the code did not work. So, I mean, code, quote unquote. Let's break in. The interior is filled with cardboard boxes and smells like rust. There is a weird looking recording device on a dashboard. The compartment seems unlocked. Um, open the compartment. You open the compartment and find a couple of newspapers and documents that look like invoices or checks. Uh, newspapers, I don't think that's gonna be too interesting. <laughs> invoices. They all mention a company called Starling Cider Limited, purchasing unnamed goods from Bite Foods LLC. The most recent purchase is supposed to be happening today. Bite Foods LLC, so this truck is not delivering, but grabbing goods from the Bite, which is a bar, but Okay, the most recent purchase is supposed to be happening today. Uh, I don't know if we should waste time looking at the newspapers, but whatever. Two newspapers from September and October. They don't look like anyone was reading through them. Read the headlines. Epidemic continues. Geese may be spreading disease. Uh, geezers? <laughs> here it says geezers, here it says geese. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I guess both might. A vicious wall attack leaves three defenders wounded, one dead. Okay, close the compartment. Try to use the device. It's a voice recording device hardwired into a, a truck dashboard, probably set for surveillance. You might be able to print out the recordings if you enter correct dates. <sighs> Select dates from invoices and newspapers. September 22nd, got three packages for you. Geese, damn you, I can't fit that many. We expected you two hours ago. Continue being an ass and I'll leave. So three packages is too much to fit into this truck. October 9th, we have five packages ready for pickup. Three is all I can fit in the truck. You're four hours late. Leave me alone. Mm. All right, I guess it's time to leave. Glad we weren't caught. That is good. I was a bit scared there. All right, let's see if this does the trick. Maybe my voice is more more what they would have would, would expect i hope they don't make me recite it word for word now can you repeat it i will where have you been we expected you two hours ago great fire damn me i looked at the wrong schedule let me in let's do it is this a prank get out that was wrong. Crap. Are you daft? You're two hours late. Ooh, I think there might be something like what they're saying requires a specific response. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, I, I pressed escape. That was. That was what I had in my... I hope I don't destroy it now. Oh damn. I, I had the idea but I couldn't access my menu. Inventory? Like the prints. Mm, okay, I don't have the prints. 
Ah, continue. Let's see if I can do it one more time, but first I will have to to check those prints. Uh, ah. We expected you two hours ago. Continue being an ass and I leave. That's it. Didn't see the fire one here, so I didn't make the Oh, there it is. Huh. One hour ago was Great Fire Damn Me. Why didn't I see that one before? I don't know. For some reason I totally missed this part, otherwise I guess I would have made the connection. I hope it's not not broken now, otherwise I might honestly load because I'm really curious about this path. Um alright. Uh wait, I forgot again. What was the one? I guess continue being an ass and I'll leave. I also didn't see that answer option. Uh, I guess I might have just missed it. So continue being an ass and I leave. Let's hope. But I know what I need to say, but it's none of these. Whatever, we got one package today. <sighs> I didn't, I don't remember that one either. And why does did this, this one give me new options now? I mean, I remember when they said three packages I can't fit that much and five was like three is all I can fit. I don't know I guess one might be great ready to load. Come in and wait in the laundry. I, I'll bring them over once they're ready. Okay coming in. Hmm I guess that was kind of correct. Maybe I had to yeah like conclude that it was still related to loading because all the others were. Um, I'm not sure what I did correct here or why I did it, but uh, or, or why it was correct, but I guess that's okay. I mean, maybe, maybe this is just a trap. I don't know. Laundry time. Laundry room. The bar is just behind that door. Maybe I could sneak behind that angry bouncer to the second floor. Maybe. Lift, right lift going downstairs, needs a turnkey. Dirty pots, doesn't look very clean. I wouldn't eat here, even if they didn't kick me out. I guess all we can do is open the door and maybe, maybe keep crouching. <laughs> I was wondering if I could wait for the music to start, but I guess I don't have to. Okay, I think I got it. Hmm. Dressing room, thanks Shepard, it's empty. Okay, no turning back now. Note. Some honey for your tea. Mom swears by it, Greg. Who's Greg? Nice fellow. Mirrors? Come on, Howard, you can do this. You're doing this! <laughs> okay. Inspect mirror table. Uh huh. More Margot Moore. Margot Moore is everywhere right now. Fierce lady, not really my type though. Who cares about your type, Howard? Nicely, I mean, I guess I do, but <laughs> still weird to mention right now. Nicely wrapped gift. Mine usually came in recycled newspaper. 
Mine do too. <laughs> Nothing pops in the mouth like Pops candy. Happy birthday, Rose. I hope they gave you a day off. Ah, Rose. Interesting. I don't think I can move anything here. But yeah, this, this birthday card is interesting. the letter I think and yeah I think they said I might be able to drag stuff around I think probably not on the I don't know not on the ones where you have these dots to interact with I don't know all right back out then Yes. Okay. Just gotta keep my profile low and take a peek into one of the rooms. Jess must be there. Ooh. I'm not here. It's all right. I wonder if we can also hide by the plant, but it doesn't really seem like it. Nothing I can do here. Well, that's not good. You failed. Don't get caught next time. I'll try. But I was I was hoping I could look inside the rooms, but <laughs> yeah, quite the chase. I guess I have to wait here. I was hoping I could look inside the rooms because I'm also looking for Rose. I think that's something I also didn't do when I played the prologue, so. That is super interesting right now to me. And the whole thing is super interesting, even though I played it before. I guess even when I'm crouching, they should show me prompts. prompts. Private room. Damn, did I miss him? Maybe he left something behind that could help Odette. green tie stuck behind the frame. How did it get there? What the? A secret lift? Mm. Green hat. Green hat. Green must have been here. Now, where's the rest of him? Herbs. Is this monkey butt? It really does stink like a butt. We still haven't seen Rose, so I want to go outside again. And I think I could squeeze into it. Not that I particularly want to, but I can't afford to be picky. Well then, that's what we do. Okay. That's a grim looking furnace. What are they burning in here? Going back now. It looks like the guests of the bite are eating well. Cork board. Greg, the inventory was off again. 
if I catch you stealing food, I'll chop off your grabby little fingers. That is, uh, took honey. Oh, so Greg took honey for, uh, uh, one of the, um, brothel employees. Don't know. That's, uh, I, I, I rewatched my, my footage of the, uh, prologue and that's what they called it, a brothel. I don't know if that's the best term. I don't know. Took honey. So they, they took it for one of the employees there and, um, that's why the inventory was off, so Greg might might have been the nicest person who works here, or worked, I don't know. Uh, let's see, intercom and door. Intercom. Um. Bar, freezer, packaging and kitchen. I don't want to call anyone right now. I was wondering if I could contact Rose's mom, mom, if that would, I don't know, that's the only thing that theoretically would have made sense. An open vent. I could fit through if I crouch. Well then, venting time. <laughs> A little sus, but that's okay. Ooh, kitchen. Got to make sure I'm not seen by the guys with big knives. Smells delicious though. Mm -hmm. I wonder would it make sense to use the intercom to call the kitchen first and then go through? Yo, this is the kitchen. What do you need? If that's Greg, no, I'm not making you a snack. How are you doing? I want to order a large pizza, pineapple on top. What are you doing? I'm good. Wait, who is this? Don't move. I think somebody's coming. I think I'm leaving. Haha. Haha. <laughs> I don't think I want to turn this one on right now. I wonder if I could have done it even without the intercom, but that certainly made it easier. Some kind of a locker room. Better keep moving. Or inspect the locker. All right, this is something we need to move around. Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers on your locker? Maybe you. <laughs> um, I can keep your paper on my locker. I don't know which one is which. I think I remember this. This is about a code, I think. Um, yeah, we need all the space, so sorry. No, we can't keep them on one locker. Don't know if it's the same, same approach, but we have these. Yeah, that kind of kind of works. That also kind of works. I'm not quite sure what everything is about, but we're getting somewhere. What is... I don't think this is the right thing. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. We have loads of stuff, but... Yeah, that's not the right one. I think this fit pretty well, and I mean with the dots here... I mean, maybe if it's only about the numbers, we have... Four zero one five, but we don't have an order. Um, probably something else gives us the clue towards that. Huh, let's see. So we have. Zero one four five. 
that's like in order all the numbers we have. Oh, wait. Haha, <laughs> back there. So, this first, zero indeed, zero four, zero four five. I don't know, the A kind of looks like this. Uh, so, zero four five one, I think so. Greg, the turnkey is missing again. It had better be where. It had better be here when I get back. And of course, I already forgot the code. I'm so bad at keeping stuff in my memory. Uh, zero, one, no, zero, four, five, one. What's this? Maybe it's my ticket out of here. Seems to need a turnkey. Okay. Anything else here? I don't think so. All right then. Code time. Zero four five one. Enter. It's so cold down here. Where are the lights? Do we really want to turn the lights on? Okay, maybe we want to stand up. running through the darkness. All right. This, uh, this does not look good. Already doesn't look good. Oh my fucking what? Dead body. <laughs> Uh, I think there's more than one in here. And talking to a dead body won't do much. It's a naked dead otter. What the fuck? Fuck me. Fucking jazz? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, fuck me. Fucking jazz? <laughs> the corpse offers you no help. Touch the corpse. Uh, I don't, don't think just touching the corpse would. This is Jazz Green. I found him. The pieces fit. It's Odette's, Odette Green's husband lying here. Try to as ascertain cause of death. Get the fuck out. Sniff the body. <laughs> um, I mean, since they mentioned these herbs, that might actually help. What used to be Jeremy smells like stale booze and cheap cologne held together by a stringent herbal stink. That's enough. I'm going. Okay. I guess going for the cause of death. Oh damn. Someone's coming. Where could you hide? I don't know. Huh. I have... Oh, container. Container. Oh well. <laughs> Damn. Greg here. No, I'm still working on the cut. Okay, I'm coming. Oh damn, I was so wrong about Greg.
What the? Sorry, Jazz. Even you didn't deserve this. Nobody does. The turnkey. Maybe I'll make it out alive. Let's hope so. I mean, I, I think the cause of death is relatively obvious. He certainly was murdered and um, I mean, there was another body hanging there on a meat hook and there was chunks of meat there. Ink. Looking for the cause of death was not strictly necessary, so I don't think we missed much. But this is dark. Upstairs. Wait. Looked like there was something. Use the lift. Check again if there's something else. Nope. Doesn't seem so. All right then. And we're back down in the laundry room. Didn't find Rose. That's not good. an appropriate reaction. Connection. All right. <laughs> fuck. 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 They were butchering him. I can't even think about it. I think this is where I'm gonna stop for today. Um, this is super long already. I thought I could get through it quicker than when I first played the prologue, but eh, I had to admire things all over again and still think about the decisions. But hey, that's cool. I. Um, I enjoyed this and I am so looking forward to be playing this some more. I think I'm gonna play the rest of this uh, on my stream over on Twitch. I'll also upload the VODs to, um, to YouTube. But if you feel like watching me play this live, then yeah, feel free to join and uh, head over to Twitch. Uh, you could also, of course, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. You can also follow me on uh, Twitter and um, you can buy this game right now. It's awesome, do it. <laughs> you could also wishlist it for now if you don't feel like buying it right now or spending as much as they are asking right now and you're waiting for a good deal. Although I would say, as I said in the beginning, this game, it's, can just tell how much love, effort and well, attention to detail and also skill they put into this so i think what they're asking is totally totally what it's worth i mean i think it's worth a whole lot more than what they're asking honestly but yeah in any case you know what you can do i think and before i uh, start uh, saying over and over how much i love what they've done here I'll just end it here and say thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you again when um, when I upload something else or the VOD of this video or over on Twitch, as I've said. So yeah, if you've got anything to tell me, please do so down below in the comments. And um, if not, that's cool too. So uh, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.